one is if it goes back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for holding. Uh, sorry about the the tech issues we had there. Uh, Twitch being Twitch. What can I say? No, it was my internet. One hundred percent my internet. I don't know what happened. You're supposed no, to blame it on the Twitch. Blame Twitch. Twitch is the, the worst. Dollar global They're the pack. worst. How could they, they do this to me? <laughs> Except with their Brand army off. of warriors <laughs> and their billions of dollars. Hi, kitty. <laughs> um. So, right, I was asking um, Peter about the medallions. Um, okay, so I'll say, um, and I'll, I'll kind of like, you know, come a little closer, right? And I'm mm -hmm. like, um, could you, can you keep a secret? He blushes. Yes. You see, I've been looking into this, um, these medallions, and... I happened to come across this one, and I, you know, pull out the the final medallion from my purse. It's still wrapped in cloth or whatever, and I, I don't let him touch it, but I kind of reveal it to him. You aren't going to let him touch it? <laughs> it was... Bad idea. I was going to say not exactly what he was hoping you'd reveal, but... Oh. <laughs> Touching. Uh... <laughs> Easy. He kind of. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's just a note that says I like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the classic checkbox. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you like me too? Y slash n? Question mark. <laughs> so he kind of leans in to look at the medallion. Um, I think this is the final one of the set, but I don't understand its significance or why. It was hidden away. I, I don't know. It, it looks similar enough to the others. The design is very different from the others, though. Yeah. Um. Do you uh? Do you know if it's the same material? I'm not as well versed in that sort of thing. Uh, may I? He reaches out for it. I don't know that it's like got nope. shit going on, There's right? There's no oh. reason you got oh, this one. Oh. Oh, poor Pietro. Poor Pietro. Fuck me. I think I have to. <laughs> yeah. Right? It doesn't make any sense for uh, my character would not know that it's like. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, excellent. I All mean, right. At least I'm yeah. not the only one who'd kill someone accidentally. All right. Seriously. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> Finally. Get one freebie each for happen. campaign. <laughs> this is the moment. This is the moment where I'm playing like a, you know, like a Life is Strange or a David Cage game. And like, I pick the bad option just because I know it's going to make for an interesting story. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I've done that so many times in those games. <clears throat> right, so I, I hand it over like a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. So. Unless I can get like a bad feeling or something. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh. You, you, you haven't. You, are, you, you didn't do your. Yeah, you didn't do your tarot <laughs> reading, remember? I know, right? <laughs> Hold on, let me do a quick tarot reading. <laughs> Okay. Pulls out a, cosh, a card that just has a caution sign on it. <laughs> Bring it. Man and all hope. Watch okay. Peter. Peter rolls so, a one. <laughs> he definitely did not. Oh no. So uh, when he takes a hold of it, you. Uh, I'm going to have you roll psychology for me. Okay. That makes sense. Oh my god, could I succeed at a test maybe? 
80, it costs 23. I only have 22. So, yeah. Uh, you want to push? Uh, what would be the downside if I fail? Uh, if you fail, you're, you would probably miss something that might even be so obvious that anybody would catch it. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> So, as you were oh, rolling, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Corrupt um, Kitty... Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, so you at least catch the obvious reaction, which is a very, like, full-body kind of shiver when, mm -hmm. uh, when he grabs onto it. Past that, you don't really notice anything much, uh, but... He is kind of holding it and examining it. Well, it it does appear to be from the same set. I I do need to I, I would need to actually examine it closely to to confirm that, but it does appear that way. Please tell me I spent forty two luck on that last session to avoid a shiver. I'll be uh, so mad. <laughs> um, you don't know. Yeah, what 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 kind of what kind of tests? Uh well, we have to confirm that it's made from the same material and try to date the artifact to confirm mm -hmm. that it was, you know, created at the same time. Uh would have to really compare it with these other ones much more closely with actual instruments. Um can you can you do so without um let's see this um without um notifying um any of the other staff I, you see I have a lot oh, of oh, interested certainly. parties certainly. and um I just want to make sure that there isn't a sudden kerfuffle to try to obtain it or something like that no no this absolutely thank you um I suppose you'll need to hold on to it then. Of course. Okay. Um, do you mind if I hold on to it for just a short while longer and I'll give it to you later today? I I would prefer to start on these tests as soon as possible. I mean, this is something that I don't want to delay. Um, I'm going to give you another psychology check for something okay. different. Okay. Kill him. Do it now. <laughs> I succeeded at that one. Okay. You have a first so, go. <laughs> I do, actually. You, you do notice, since he touched the, uh, the medallion, he has stopped being flirty in any way, shape, or form with you. Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh the oh, worst no. possible side effect. <laughs> <laughs> Taking away flirtiness. Okay. Um, um, sure. Um, you know what? I, that's fine by me. Um, just to make sure to keep it safe. Of course. And also, so you guys know, uh, Corrupt Kitty gave each of you guys a bonus die for. Oh. Uh, Hell yeah. You guys can bank that and use it on a roll that you want. Yeah, Sweet. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Um, trying to think if, uh, if there's anything else I can do. Um, no, yeah, I'll just hand it over. Okay. So he <laughs> kind of folds it back up in the cloth that it was in, and he pockets it. Uh, Wait, he, if he you just puts it me, in his I've... pocket? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you could excuse me, I'd, I'd like to get started on tests right away, and I'll need to find somebody to cover the front desk for me to do so. Um, of course. Yeah, I, I have to beat up a museum I, guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I was hoping perhaps you could um, give me a tour. I, I would love... <laughs> I would love to, at this time, I... In order to make sure I don't waste any of your time, 
I need to make sure that this gets started right away. Um, so yeah, I think my demeanor will change too. And she looks a little taken aback and she says, um, yes, it would be a shame if my time was wasted. So thank you for that. Oh, 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 oh. He and, doesn't even seem yeah, to take notice yeah. of the implication. Like cool. it's, it's not that he's ignoring it. He doesn't even right. seem to notice. Yep. Um, I will thank him and be on my way. And he wanders off. Um, I'm going to head to the gardens. Okay. I'm not stealthy, so, so I won't, like, so, tail him or something. Well, since there's nobody, you know, watching the door, there's nobody to stop you and ask you to buy a ticket, so... That's handy. Yeah, you can go, <laughs> you can go uh, out to the gardens. I just want to take one more look at the relief and the... Um, everything that's inside and see if anything matches the medallion in any way um, that we might have missed earlier. Mm -hmm. So when you go out there, the Fritz uh, still is, you know, standing and kind of ominous and the statuary inside the kind of mausoleum type alcove uh, does still have the the same winged man and holding a medallion when you look closer uh i need a spot hidden roll from you uh the other roll i keep doing i failed <laughs> son of a bitch good lord i rolled all right here we go are you ready 96 91 79 94 59 and then a 52 is my best roll so far tonight Ouch. You know, maybe I'll just, uh, y'all can handle it from here. <laughs> I just leave. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the lighting is poor enough in here, you're having a hard time seeing, but you, uh, the only thing you can confirm is the medallion that's being held by the statue doesn't actually have a design on it, so. Okay. okay. That's the I'm only thing like, you can really distracted and confused and frustrated. By Peter suddenly being very cold. What a jerk. <laughs> He's um, cold. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I'll spend some more time here if you want to move on to the other party members. Well, I think they were headed this direction after. Oh, good. After the library, so. And you guys only have a couple hours before you're supposed to be at the, the guy's house for the translation. That's right. So, we did have another thing going on. Okay. Yep. We'll, we'll say that uh, your party members are able to catch up with you here after you are done examining in the garden. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet them in the lobby. Uh, when you go in the lobby, there's still nobody at the front desk. So they'll he walk in and I'll, I'll jokingly be like, um, welcome to the museum. <laughs> Can I interest you in a ticket to our lovely, weird, creepy garden? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where, where did Peter go? He's looking into some things for me. He just left the desk? Yeah, I um, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, I showed him the medallion. I'm I'm say, I'm saying this very quietly. Um, I showed him the medallion, and as soon as I did, he started acting different. Um, and he, uh, I asked if he could, um, you know, um, test out its authenticity, see if it's the same kind of make and model as the others, and he said that he would do some tests, and then he just kind of left. Like, outside left? He's still in the building, as far as I know. He said he was going to get someone to cover his shift, but he didn't even bother. Uh, is there a role I can make to determine if this is weird? Yeah. Uh, the, no, there is no role, because this shit's weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this seems weird. <laughs> 
I, I, I want to trust him, but something's off. He is not acting the same way. Uh, let's see. Simon will turn around and see if there's an easy way to lock the doors. You're you're locking so, people into the museum. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Fire hazard, bro. <laughs> locking people locking in or locking doors. people out? A little bit of both, because there are other people inside. Yeah, but how would you lock... You'd have to, like, blockade the door, right? Block, yeah. Blockade. You would probably need a key. Yeah, like a, well, I was going to say, okay. yeah, the, the doors are going to need a key to lock. Or I could try to pick the lock to lock it. Yes, you could. Oh man! So Simon I don't know. like goes in front of the door and like kneels and starts seeing at his tools, and I just kind of like, I just kind of walk up and I'm like, "Hey, um, Mr. Ashford, um, what are you doing?" Well, are you doing? He's still in the building, right? I don't know. I didn't follow him. Oh. You should find where he is at least. Keep yeah. an eye on our only lead. I just figured if I locked the door, he couldn't get out. If he's acting weird, I don't want to leave things to chance. Well, why don't we just... I'll just wait by the door. Or someone can wait by the door. Okay, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> you still have that gun, right? I... I'm not gonna... I, yes, but... Oh yeah, you got I, a little 38, I would very right? much like to get through this day without shooting somebody, thank you. Well, we've gotten through a lot of days without shooting people. I... <laughs> <laughs> I've never spotted uh, Not as many without <laughs> knocking people out, but... I have nothing to do with your brutish tactics. <laughs> um... I don't know, do... does... yeah, we should probably have someone stay here. Um... I can probably cover a lot of ground, um, so maybe I should take off and start looking. Um, Hold on. Yep. I'll uh, walk up to the desk, pull out my tarot deck. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm focusing all of my energy on Peter. What are his motivations? What are his... Um, his desires, what is he up to? I got an extreme success. Nice. Finally. Okay. Give me one moment here. <laughs> Shut up, Justin. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, you're getting some various things from uh, reading the cards uh, that kind of, you get a, more of a sense of who he is, and he really is just a, you know, academic and a kind-hearted person. Uh, however, there is one particular card that uh, is drawing your attention, and that is uh, kind of in the place for where he is currently, uh, mm -hmm. which it comes up as uh, the hangman reversed, which, for those of you who don't know uh, tarot, and do not have access to Google right now like I do. Uh, <laughs> reversed Hangman is a sign of a noble deed that uh, involves basically being a sacrificial lamb that is a useless gesture. Oh, so, no. Yeah. That's a bummer. That's, uh, that, that's bad. That's super bad. Hmm. What do the cards say, Cat? 
Uh, nothing that I like. Um, although, I don't think that he's a bad person. So, please don't. Please don't think that he is. Alright. But we uh, should find him. Yeah, I'm off. And, and render him unconscious. <laughs> I, no! Did you hear me? I did hear it's you. It's not permanent. It's not permanent. We could shoot him. We're not going to do that. God, this is why I don't bother with romance. <laughs> they always end up knocked out or shot. Right. <laughs> it's sort of my companions always end up murdering them. I mean, it <laughs> sort of worked out for Clifton. So. <laughs> yeah, it worked out real good. Yeah. That's our baseline is Clifton, yeah. <laughs> is people survived. That's it. That's that's just our <laughs> horrific trauma, but still alive. I I um, think I might right, have made right. a mistake giving him that medallion. But yeah, Simon has uh taken off. Uh he's looking for any indications of someone going somewhere, open doors. I'll um, I'll tell him the last you know known location of where i saw him walking off right. I'll, I'll also search but in a different area from simon so we can cover more ground okay. um what crap what should clifton do i don't know what to do i think that sounds like clifton <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm being a... well they still need a front desk attendant <laughs> <laughs> that's right wow. you, you do have the charm <laughs> right. Got the smile. Uh, so uh, Justin, uh while while he's deciding what he's gonna do, I'm gonna have you roll luck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> right on wow. the money. Wow. Just barely a success. So, yeah, literally right after you turn the corner from where Kat said that she, she saw him going, uh, you see down towards the end of the hall, there does appear to be a kind of research station. And uh, sitting right there is your query uh, with a book open and the medallion in his hand. And he's kind of reading through the book and looking at the medallion. He he can't seem to go more than a few seconds without looking over at the medallion. Uh, I'm gonna sneak up and uh, yoink the medallion. Uh, well, so, will I? I, uh, no. For you, I no, 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 no. <laughs> I I think Simon will call out. He will say, uh, a bit "Hold on, hold on, that. hold on." Okay, go ahead. Uh, I would like a psychology roll. Okay. He, is he gonna be like Bilbo? Is he gonna yeah, do that? I think that's very fast. I'm very. I think that's exactly what this medallion is doing to people. God damn! Can you explain what? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Simon so, got an extreme success this time. So. Uh, best way to describe it is you might as well call this guy Smeagol because yeah. uh, <laughs> he he is he has gone full obsessive on this medallion. Watching him for like 30 seconds is enough to see that this is this is beyond normal. Hey, I want to figure out what's going on. <clears throat> this is seriously fucked up in the head sort of, you know, behavior. I was just thinking of the Franco Mark and Jelly thing was like, it sounded mm. like, in retrospect, like the murder at the river as soon as what's, you know, Smeagol's buddy found the ring. That's a good point. I hadn't thought about um, that. Challenge him to a riddle contest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think we lost Josh here. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, he's definitely frozen. Yeah. All right, so, oh, here we oh, go. Wait, he's back. Are you back? Gotta say something. No. He's frozen again. Back. <laughs> <laughs> we had him. He's looking hey. very intently at him. There we go. He's talking to us. Are you back? Yes. Yay! Okay, no idea what happened. Okay. All right, uh, so Simon... Oof. So this guy is pretty healthy, right? <laughs> Wait, seriously? 
Oh my god. You've got a problem. I do. Uh, it's not. I'm not going to do that, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else is in this hall? Uh, books, a couple of uh, displays. Uh, nothing really exciting. Just kind of a typical museum back hallway. Um, okay, so there's... Okay. All right. Uh, well, I will... I'm going to be as quiet as I can, but I'm going to basically still just walk down the center. Um, so it's not like I'm... If he turns around and sees me, it would be normal. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, so I'll, I'll just start with that, uh, to see if I can get up closer to him without, uh, him noticing. Uh, yep. He doesn't notice you. Oh, perfect. Um, do I hear him muttering anything? Nope. Uh, what book is he pouring over? No, Josh. No, oh, no. <laughs> okay, sorry. Discord's being dumb for me. I think I'm going to reinstall it over break. Okay. Oh, oh, or just go. <laughs> oh, 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 he's gone. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm just going to reinstall it over break. Cut call. Break. <laughs> uh, so the, the book that he is looking over is essentially kind of a, uh, a folktales book. It's the historical study of folktales. Uh, is there another chair at this table? Uh, there is. Okay. Uh, so I will pull up a chair, uh, making sure to go in, f like, beyond him. So if he decides to run, he'll run towards the entrance. Mm -hmm. um, and just say, hey, Peter, how's it going? He doesn't seem to notice you. Snap my fingers a couple of times. Congratulations, you snapped your fingers. Yes, I can do it. You didn't need me to roll for that? <laughs> uh, so, Peter, what, what would you say if I uh, get that medallion back for Cat, please? When you say that, he looks uh, looks up. Uh, I'm sorry, what What did you say? Uh, I think Cat needs the medallion back now. I, I, I'm... Far too busy looking into it. I, it, it's going to take a little bit more time. Okay, Cat needs the uh, medallion back right now. I, I don't think that that, uh, she she said she needed more information on it, and I can't do. What that are you if reading here? What what's this book here? I I grab the book and. <laughs> at, at this point, once you grab the book, he he tries to run with the medallion in hand. Okay, I I chase him down. <laughs> Simon's just like, it's going to be annoying until he hands it over. <laughs> well, it's better that than clocking him in the back of the head, okay? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Are you going to do that? Because right now you're just chasing him. Are you going to try to stop him? Uh, no, I will holler out, though, saying, uh, he's on the run, <laughs> headed toward you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I was in okay, a different so part of the museum searching it, for him, so if where I, am I at? If I get a chance, I will attempt to tackle him and restrain him. I know I'm uh, tiny, but... Uh, body. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm pretty strong, though, so... All, all of you do hear this, and uh, Silvio, <laughs> you're the farthest away, but you will be able to get there. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Simon, as he is kind of rounding the corner towards the front entrance... Clifton is standing there. You're chasing after him. Would would you like to attempt to uh, 
Would you like to attempt to tackle him? You're asking me? Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a unarmed attack. Like an actual unarmed attack or just a brawl? Unarmed attack. Like with damage and everything? Yep. <laughs> Congrats. Right, just just making sure. <laughs> if, if you succeed, his head is going to bounce off the ground. It's going to hurt. It's not going to kill him. Ooh. Okay. Most likely, but... Well, I missed. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of try to dive on him, and he is just kind of a, a slippery motherfucker right now. So... Clifton, uh, you see Simon. <laughs> you see Simon dive for a tackle and uh, fall on his face. Uh, by the way, Simon, you are going to take a damage. Uh, your your head about or no, sorry. Uh, you kind of land on your chest and just get the wind knocked out of you. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my chest again. Ugh. So. <laughs> Uh, Clifton, what do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna, um, can I do the, like, the, uh, linebacker thing and just try and, like, grab him, or do I have to, like, try and dive tackle him? Uh, well, it's up to you. Which are you going to try? <laughs> um, I guess the first one? Okay. So... I, mean, I don't know, I mean, yeah. Is he, is he running towards me? Yeah, so I'm well, just gonna since, try and. Yeah, since you're in the way of the front door, he is running. Lock the door. Towards you. Yeah, cat, lock <coughs> the door, cat. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'll block the door. The one hundred and like forty pound, um, five foot one. <laughs> yeah, I'll square up and try and tackle him. I guess maybe. <laughs> okay. Not, like... uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like gonna chase him. I'm just gonna like you know do the thing and then tr try and try and grab him. But yeah, okay. unarmed attack I think is what we're talking about. Well, are you trying to grab him or are you trying to tackle him? I tackle. Okay. Tackle. So unarmed attack, yes. Hey, nice. And let's That's see. <clears throat> that was not. I don't know why it's a saber. I didn't put that in the arm thing. I don't like you. <laughs> You, you put it in the description for some odd reason, but for some odd that's okay. Reason. We can we, we can take that out later. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, he is slightly distracted, and yeah, you are able to pick him up and kind of get him down on the ground. He, uh, yeah, he, he is a little bit worse for wear because you know you're taking him to the ground and he was just running, but. Uh, he doesn't appear to be dead, at least. Oh, he good. Is... Oh, thank God for that. That's something. But he is kind of thrashing about in your arms, trying to get away. Uh, okay, so I will crawl we'll over to bit. him and grab the, uh, medallion with my, uh, my pocket square. And, uh... <laughs> Your red pocket square, right? Uh, yeah, I think it is red. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh... Yeah, out of my satchel, I will pull some rope and uh, just to... Well... Is, or is he, is he out? So, one, once you take the medallion out of his hands, he faints. Oh, okay, cool. Does he still have the book? Or is that back... Uh... No, that's back on the table. Okay. I should have just grabbed the book and thrown it at him. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I thought that's what you were going cool. to do. I really should have. <laughs> um, well, I, I wish... I wish I could say that this is the first time I've, um, <laughs> I wish I could say that this is the first time a prospective romantic interest was, um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I don't say that. I don't say that. <laughs> I, I am terrified by where that place is going, but. Um, Are your memories no, from just... the moon resurfacing? Is that what's going on? This is a shame. Um. Here, why don't I take that back and never give it to anyone again? Yeah, uh, Simon will hand it back. What was he doing? Uh, why did he... he run? What did you do? Uh, I said hi. I told him you would like the medallion back. And he said no. And then I said, 
you need it back right now. And he said no. And then I was like, oh, what sort of book are you reading? And then he ran. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh. Uh, speaking of which, I'll go grab that book. And I'll take off and go get the book. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, flipping through the book, it's literally just a, you know, old, old book of folk tales. Does not seem to have any reference that is indicative of the medallion or anything going on. What? Simon, you suck. Uh, well, apparently he sucks because he grabbed a book that That's has a, nothing oh, to do I'm with sorry. this. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say Peter. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, point that somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have um, the medallion back. We have a porn conscious Peter. Um, let's just put him in a ch uh, back Clifton, in his chair. Could you, yeah. could you place him back in his chair? Yes. I finally I come have... running up on my hobbled knee. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Sylvia, yeah. so nice of you to join us. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry, I'm a little bitter. Okay. Those are usually safe for Clifton. Is there is there anyone else around who witnessed this? No. Yeah. Okay. Thank. Right? No. Uh, the the museum is we'll just... pretty close to empty. Uh, okay. There, because of the shouting, you imagine people are going to come this direction. Oh, I thought it was empty, empty. Okay. No, I I even said you're locking people inside. Right. I thought you yeah. meant us, like us no. being the people. Yeah, okay. it's a giant ass museum where you think there's only five people inside. Well, everyone hates this place, apparently. It's all cold. <laughs> There's, like, starving cats. No one's outside. I don't know. Um, he... So... There was an immediate change in his demeanor when he touched the medallion. An immediate change when he no longer has the medallion. Uh, if we're worried about people popping in, uh, maybe we should head out. Um... If we, we put him back in his chair, though, at least? Yes. Is there Make it like, seem like he fell asleep. Yeah, is there, like, a glass of water nearby? Uh, yeah. So if I flick some water in his face, it's he's not going to wake up or anything? I will uh, try it. Uh, he, he seems to stir a bit, but he does not wake up. Okay. <sighs> yeah, either we leave or we try to wake him up here. Uh, what, what do you think? Just sit him at the desk and let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. We gone. Let's, um... Oh, we could steal the other medallions while we're at it. No. I don't think we need to. <laughs> this, this one appears to be the only one... This one is different from the rest. Apparently. Why did it happen to him and not us? I don't know. Maybe... Our will is too strong? Or perhaps... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, I mean, the only other common thread that I can see is that we're not from here. And he is. Hmm, that's true. Do you want to what? test the hypothesis? <laughs> I would rather not. Okay. Are we are we in the in the act of leaving while we're having this conversation? Are we still are we're we still actively leaving? leaving. I think we're leaving. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys, I I heard somebody say that you were yeah. leaving. So let's uh, um. Why don't we Why don't we head to um, Mister whatever his face is. Um. The tr the translator. Yes, or... the translator. Yeah. What's his name. Okay. Who who by uh, the way is also definitely obsessed with this medallion. <laughs> this uh, translator Mc. Translatorson. Yeah. Translator Mick uh, not gonna give it to him? Yeah. Yeah, he didn't he hasn't seen it, right? No, he, he hasn't. No, he doesn't know we no. have it. And we, we should make that probably. Yeah, I think Great. we uh, stop telling people that we have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought I could trust Peter. Yeah, it seemed nice. Uh, Mar Marcius uh Montanelli. 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 Uh that's the tr that's the translator's name. Okay. Okay, Go to him. so we will head over that direction after the break.
because <laughs> it is a little bit after eight. So we're going to take a short break and be back in a bit. Thank you. Thanks.
Welcome back. Thank you for bearing with us during that break. Hopefully we have my tech issues worked out or who knows? <laughs> never. Smart. Yeah. God, they're never ending, I tell you. <laughs> but we are, uh, we left off with our intrepid investigators on the way to the translator's house. A little bit early, but, uh, you know, close enough to, to when he said. And also just kill some time. We can we can open up the menu and just kind of move the timer two hours, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like we're in Fallout. We, we play the song on Ocarina of Time. Or... Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you guys wander around for a bit then and uh, show up at the, the translator's place. Knock, knock. I do with my hand oh. instead of my voice. <laughs> come in. All right. Uh, come on in. Open the door. Come. Enter. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, uh, so he is sitting there at his desk with the diary that you gave him opened up and a bunch of notes on the table. Uh, sitting there in his wheelchair. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I didn't realize it was that time already. Uh, we, we might be, be uh, yeah, slightly early. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I actually just finished. I, I think I narrowed down some of the more uh, the later entries in here seem to be a little bit more. Uh, mysterious and I, I don't know if this is relevant to what you're looking at but uh this is my best guess for you and he kind of sorts through a stack of papers and finds uh just a, a large sheet of paper with very very tight uh handwriting in english on it and hands you this uh it's a it's a summary of some of the the uh, entries in the the months leading up to his death. So I I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but this seemed to be the most relevant and interesting entries I could find. Well, it led to a handout on Roll Twenty, so it's obviously relevant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of us want to read this. I uh, can. Go for it. Uh, Do it. Sorry, this is just a thing called Johan Winkleman. No, Winkleman's uh, diary. Winkleman's, Winkleman's diary. diary. Yeah. It's got the meaning. <laughs> May 3rd, the tablet of Indecipherable is, in is correct, and I have traveled to Regensburg and spoken with the things there. They have compelled Great. me to carry on... They can, <laughs> have compelled me to carry on... carry an amulet to another enclave near Tergest Ter in Austria. I am warned not to approach without the amulet, lest I be destroyed. They need this amulet for some dark plan of their own. I fear it will aid them in releasing that which they serve from its frozen Arctic prison. Oh, boy. May 15th. I curse those beasts, and I curse myself for seeking them. Each night the dreams return, and I get no peace. I do not know how to go on. The art which has been my life is dross, and my fellows but painted masks on grinning skulls. I wear my mask, too, and talk of art, but beauty has gone from the world, and my words are ashes in the wind. June 1st. Arrived safely in Tergest. The dreams that have haunted me since Regensburg continue. My one hope is that after I have handed, a, handed on the amulet, the dreams will stop. June 2nd. Met a native, Archangeli. A fellow who promises some diversion. More importantly, through certain signs and words, he gives me to believe that he knows of those entities and can guide me to their lair. June 3rd, I cannot trust Archangeli. He has asked to see the amulet as a sign of my appointment as courier, but his manner is sly, and I suspect that he would prefer to carry the amulet himself. I have stalled him, but without his, without his help, I cannot reach them. June 5th, in my despair, I weakened and made the ritual and spoke with the thing that came and learnt from whence it came. The beasts know I am here with their amulet and tell me to bring it with me to their lair or incur their wrath. I am sick to the heart. June 6th, 
I managed to give that rogue Arcangeli the slip and have hidden the amulet. I am certain now that he intends to steal it, as I came upon him searching my room. I shall have to wait until I am no longer watched, and make my own way to the caverns at Adelsburg to deliver the amulet. I dare not go there without it. June 7th, final entry. Arcangeli continues to plague me, and I cannot recover the amulet without his notice. I have discovered that he, along with other locals who serve th those beasts, attempt to steal every occult item which passes this way, and make thereof offerings to please them. I fear that they will find the amulet, denying me the opportunity opportunity to fill, fulfill my to fulfill my appointed duty, and that these dreams will never cease. And uh, just as a note, every time he talked about them, it was capitalized as well as the things and I think the beasts. Yep. Mm -hmm. Always capitalized. Yeah. <clears throat> so obviously that's um, uh, Ithaqua, right? I I don't know. I, Ithaqua I mean, is. Plural. Yeah, Athaqua is one entity. Beasts, things, and them are all plural. Right. Yeah. So, well, there is one thing that there was one thing that spoke of. Yeah. I fear it will aid them in releasing that which they serve from its frozen Arctic Arctic yeah, prison. Yeah, says they serve. Uh, so it's, is it like a cult of Athaqua then? Seems well, like it, it sounds like these are lesser lesser monsters that are serve Athaqua, and then he is part of a cult that serves those things that serve Athaqua. But I could be wrong. They have compelled me to carry an amulet to another enclave near Turgest in Austria. Um, where's Turgest? Um, yeah, where's that? In, in, in our trek, if at all. Uh, Turgest is actually the, uh, the name for Trieste before it was taken over by Italy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And where's Adelsberg? Right. Adelsberg? Yes, where's uh, Adelsberg? Uh, the caverns at Adelsburg uh, are an old name for a series of caverns uh, that, let's see, I'm trying to find, uh, it is now known as the caverns at Postumia. Is that Slovenia <clears throat> or the kingdom of yep. Serb, Croats, and Slovenes? Uh, Postumia is, uh, actually, it is, uh, it's a short stop on the Orient Express, but it is literally the next stop. Mm. Uh, so, uh, you could go via Orient Express, or you could get a cab, uh, it's about a three-hour drive. That's oh, wow, cool. like, really close. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. So it says so that they all... steal every occult item and make offerings. So are we thinking potentially they got one of the pieces and made an offering and it's potentially there in those caverns? Well, we should discuss this, um, you know, after we leave. Yeah. We're yeah. just discussing it in our cider minds right now. Right. We're, <laughs> we're, we're doing some telepathy. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now, uh, the uh, the translator is sitting there, kind of looking pleased with himself. Yeah, uh, I will thank him uh, for his work. And, did you uh, already pay him? Or did we need to you to you did him? already pay him, but, okay. I mean, he did this on short notice, so I don't mind yeah. paying him more. Um, <laughs> I, I have a question it... for you, sir. Yes. These, these, uh, these they's and them's and things... Um, were those actually the words Winkleman used, or is there just no approximate translation? Uh, those were the, the words that were used. There was one mm -hmm. that I was not able to translate. Uh, That's the tablet? Note of that. Yes. I see. Um, but the they's and them's, uh, yeah. Uh, I know short notice, it's not the full entries. I was able to get as much as I could of the, the ones that seemed to be oh. most relevant. I, I think that you've done a fantastic job. Um, I imagine that any any mundane entry would have been little use to us. <laughs> no. so, can I get can I get a read on him? Does he look perturbed at all at what he translated? Uh, go ahead and roll psychology. Okay. Not my best skill, but we'll see. And where is Regensburg? Yeah, that was the other thing. 
Uh, let me get this. I guess I could spend luck, but is it worth it? Nine luck. Well, can, I mean, I'm also curious about this. Can I try as well, or is that just a Sylvia thing? Uh, well, let's see if Sylvia decides to spend luck. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spend luck. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, with a successful psychology role, he is not bothered at all by this, which seems hmm. sort of suspicious to Silvio. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why would you not be bothered by that? Uh, and to answer the question about Regensburg, that is where Winkle uh, Winkleman is from. Uh, it's oh, in, in Germany. Bavaria. Or yeah. Very okay. Yeah. At, at this time, it is the the German Empire. Yeah. Mm. Okay, perfect. Travel to Regensburg. It's spoken to the things there. They've compelled me to carry an amulet to another enclave near True Guest. I'll, I'll just ask the translator quick. Have you heard of any beasts like this before that they're referencing, or anything like this before? No. Uh, it, it seems like the ravings of a madman to me, uh, but who knows? I uh, haven't heard of anything like this before. Well, I, I think it is quite clear um, that Winkleman was a very troubled individual. And I'm, I'm attempting to, you know, dismiss this as, as a, an interesting fancy and nothing more. Huh. Well, still, it's a story to sell, right? Uh, yes. Is that right, uh... So... I would recommend uh, maybe because I, I am aware it was his to loan out, but uh, you may wish to to return the diary to Antonio Tremona. Of course. He, he likely would uh, appreciate to have that back in his collection. Wait, did we tell um, him about that? Yeah. Uh, Tremona was the, the one who... Yeah, Tremona gave the, us like the letter of introduction to use this oh, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Him. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't sure if we told him that we got it from him, though, so... No, they don't know that we have the amulet. That's the important thing. All right. Okay. Okay, so nothing I'm... suspicious here. Yeah, This. are we in the evening now? Yes. I think so, right. yeah. So should we head back to our abode and discuss... Sounds I good. think so. We could head to Termona's first. Eh. We can always give, give it back in the morning. It is sort of late. Okay. I'm concerned we're going to find a dead dude there and it's going to complicate things. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's mm. more of my metagaming thing, but like I feel like I we're going to find a murder. And, if uh, that were the case, I think that's not going to change tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'd like a, I'd like a, a, a nice, a good night's sleep before I find another body. Okay. <laughs> I'm about, I'm about well, taking the medallion into his house. Well, I'm not saying could, that out loud. But... What we could do is just drop the book off in his mailbox and, uh, yeah, just wash our hands of it. That's a federal offense yeah. in America. Uh, I wouldn't mind chatting with him again. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. How close is that to here? It's not too far away. What? Uh, his place from uh, the translators. Oh, no, it's yeah. like right down like the block. A cu yeah, a couple blocks. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. We're here. Sure, we'll do it. I, I think we should just drop it off. All right. Okay. So, uh, 